Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to use the workflows in Go High Level. Using the workflows, you can create automation for your business processes. In this video, we will see what are the triggers for the workflows, how you can create different workflows, what are the actions in the workflow. There are many actions in the workflow. We will see how to use the actions in a workflow, how to use the conditions in the workflow, and how you can add the contact forms, surveys, or the appointment book in the automation there are hundreds of actions that you can perform such as you can send email SMS voicemail to the customer as well as you can send internal notifications to the business owner so let's see how to use the workflows in go high level all right so here I'm logged into the dashboard of the go high level so in the left hand panel you will see the option automation click on automation I have already created some workflows using the contact form and I already published one video about how to create the contact form in Go High Level and how to use the contact form in the automation or the workflow. So if you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now we will create a new workflow. So here you will see the option create workflow. Click on it. Now there are some pre-designed templates for the workflows. If you want to use the pre-designed templates, you can use the pre-designed template or you can start from the scratch. So let's click on start from scratch. Click continue. We will first see the basic structure of the workflow. Now here at the top, you will see the name of the workflow. This is the default name. You can change it. Let's name it as test workflow. Whatever name you want, you can assign a name to the workflow. So this is the name of the workflow. Here you will see different options, builder, settings, enrollment, history, and execution log. Let's go to settings. Now these are the basic settings of the workflow. This is for the contact allow re-entry. So when you enable it, it allows a contact to re-enter once it has left this workflow. Stop on response. This option will end the workflow for a contact if the contact responds to a message that is sent from this workflow so in the workflow you are going to send some sms or the email to the contact if the contact or the person replies to that email or the sms it is going to stop the workflow so if you want to do that you can enable it otherwise you can keep it as it is disabled this is the time zone you can select time zone according to your requirement by default it is going to take the time zone of your account time window now if you want to use this workflow for a particular time period only in the particular time frame only you can select this one specific time so this workflow will be active only between this time period if you want to keep it always on you can simply disable this option this is the sender details from email so these are the default options that you can set up mark as a red now if you want the conversations that this workflow will interact with to be marked as a red so if you want them to be marked as red, you can enable this option. All right. So these are the settings. Next is enrollment history. So if any contact goes through this workflow, it will show the history of that particular contact execution log. It will show the logs of all the actions and steps. So let's go back to builder. Now, the first option is we need to assign a trigger for this workflow. The trigger is nothing but the starting point of this workflow. So there are different options for the trigger. Click on add new workflow trigger. Now here you will see different options inbound webhook. This is a premium trigger. The next option is affiliate. So if you are using affiliate, this is the first trigger affiliate is created. So when the affiliate is created, it is going to run this workflow. Next one is appointment. If you are running appointment such as calendars, this is going to trigger this workflow. So these are the options. Next one is contact, contact changed, contact created, contact tag, contact action. So if someone replies, then it is going to trigger this workflow. If the form is submitted, if you are running forms on your website and if the form is submitted, it is going to run this workflow. So I'll show you how does this work when the form is submitted. Order form submission, order submitted, survey submitted. So these are different options to trigger this workflow. Call status in email events. If you are running Facebook ads and if you are running lead form on the Facebook, then you can trigger the workflow using the Facebook lead form submitted. This is for the membership opportunities. If you are creating opportunities or pipelines, these are the trigger points for the workflow. Payment, Shopify, if you are running Shopify, media, 
TikTok. All right, so let's try one of these triggers. So I'm going to select form and the trigger point will be form is submitted. So when someone fills up the form, it is going to trigger this workflow. I have already created some forms using the Go High Level and these forms are installed on the website. So if someone comes to the website and if someone fills up the form, it is going to trigger this workflow. The trigger name will be form submitted. So you can change the trigger name. So this is just the name of the trigger. Add filter. So you need to add filter which form is submitted because you may have multiple forms on your account. So you need to select which form is submitted. Now here filter form is and which form so i have three four forms so i'm going to select this form so when this form is submitted it is going to trigger this workflow click on save trigger okay so we have got the trigger we need to add some actions what needs to be done when the form is submitted so here you will see the option plus sign click on the plus sign and these are all actions that you can use the first option premium actions so these are the premium actions google sheets slack custom webhooks so these are the premium action workflow ai so it, they have included chat gpt so that is also a premium action now these are the external communications such as you can send email send sms you can send call voicemail messenger instagram dm manual sms these are the external communication actions affiliate now you can add to affiliate manager update affiliate add to affiliate campaign after that we have crm these are the actions for the contact list such as add contact tag remove tag create or update opportunities you can create different pipelines and under one pipeline you can create different opportunities i'll publish a detailed video on how to create pipeline and opportunity in the upcoming videos now assign to user so you may have different users on your sub account so you can assign this particular lead to one of your users remove from user remove opportunity dnd so these are all crm actions update contact field then we have membership actions and after that we have conditions and workflow so these conditions can be used in a workflow if else wait webhook you can also go to particular action in the workflow math operation is also there and goal event is there so let's see we are going to first send an sms so let's select send sms the, so the first action that we are going to do is send sms to the customer now this will be the content for the sms so i'm going to send this sms Thank you for contacting our business. One of our representatives will contact you soon. So as soon as someone fills up the form, this is the SMS that will be sent to the customer. So I'm going to save this action. The next action will be send email. So I'm also going to send email to the customer. Click on send email. This will be the name of the action. From name, this is the from name for the email. So from here, you can select the account name so that will be your business name from email will be the account email so that will be your email address and subject you can let's say whatever subject line you want to add you can add the subject line now if you have created template you can use the template otherwise you can add the content manually now here what i'm going to do i'm going to say hi and then i want to add the name of the customer here you will see option custom values click on it and this is for the contact contact is nothing but the person who has submitted the form so you can select contact and then you can have full name so what it is going to do it is going to add the name of the contact person so whatever name of the contact person it will show the name there and if you want to add your business name you can select custom value account and then name so this will show the account name your business name there you can customize the content of the email i can add the name of the business again below that you can add your contact detail of the business owner so i'm going to add account 
email so it will show the email address of the business click save action now after that i want to assign a tag so i'm going to look for tag add contact tag so in order to understand that this contact lead is generated using contact form i'm going to add a contact form tag so you can create a new tag or you can add tags that you have already created all right so this will be the tag added to this particular contact lead so i'm going to save the action so we have added the tag after that you can let's say wait for one minute so let's search for the action that will be wait and time delay let's say i want to wait for one minute you will see different option minute hours or days so if you want to wait for one day you can wait for one day so i'm going to select one minute save the action so we have added the wait action now after that we are going to send internal notification for the user or the owner that someone has filled up the form and contact that person so i'm going to click on the plus sign and search for notification so this will send internal notification to the owner of the business and you will see different options here type of notification will be email notification and sms so when i select email it is going to send email to the owner to the business owner that someone has filled up the form and you can uh, enter the details here so this email will be sent to the owner if i select sms it is going to send sms to the business owner regarding the information of the user so you can customize the content of the sms from here the next option is notification now if you are the business owner and if you have the sub account on go high level you can use the lead connector app you can install the app on your mobile device and it will send the notification on your mobile device so you need to install the app in order to get the notification on your mobile app as soon as someone fills up the form it is going to send instant notification on your mobile app if you have the lead connector app installed on your mobile device so i'm going to use this one this notification option you can add email or sms also and this will be the notification a new user has filled up the form on the website let's say name of the user and i want to show the phone number of the user so what i'm going to do for the name i'm going to add the custom value contact and full name so it will show the name of the person and for the phone name i'm going to select custom values contact and phone so it will show the phone number of the user so as soon as someone fills up the form it is going to send this notification on the mobile app with the name and the phone number of the visitor click save action all right so we need to add the title here let's say new lead so this will be the title and below that you have a redirect page so it will go to the contact so on the mobile app you have different options such as contact opportunity conversation so when you tap on this notification on your mobile device it is going to redirect you to the contact section on the mobile app now you need to assign user so i'm going to select all user if you have any particular user you can use the particular user in this case i have one user here so i'm going to select one user or you can send this notification to all the users click save action now what we will do we will assign a user after this add tag so i'm going to click plus here and search for user assign to user so this particular lead or the contact will be assigned to particular user on the sub account so if you have multiple users on the sub account assign this lead to one of the users so i'm going to select this user i have only one user on this sub account so i'm going to use this one and save action so we have assigned user now we will wait for the reply from the customer to the email or the sms so let's click on the plus sign and search for wait or delay click on wait and here you will see different options wait for time delay you can use the time delay or event or appointment time overdue these are the crm events conditions you can add condition contact reply so we are we are going to wait for the contact reply we will wait for the contact to reply so i'm going to select this one contact reply and reply to what sms or email so we have sent sms 
and we have also sent email so we are going to wait for the reply to these sms or email so i have selected both the options here so it is going to wait for the sms or email add timeout you can add the timeout also let's say i want to add one day timeout let's save the action so we have got the wait function here now click on the plus sign and let's go to the conditions and workflows select if else now we have already added the condition wait condition for the reply this is the condition name so i'm going to name it as contact replied you can add multiple branches contact details contact reply custom values so i'm going to select contact reply and you will see other options contact replied intent type or replied message so i'm going to select contact replied and select yes or no so i'm going to say true that means the contact has replied then it will create a branch if the contact has not replied then it will create another branch for the workflow click save action and you will see two branches here one is replied and the other one is not replied you can change the name of this branch let's say yes contact replied if the contact replied then it will go to this workflow if they do not reply then it will go to this workflow now what do you want to do if the contact reply so i'm going to click on the plus sign in this branch and i'm going to send sms this is just the sample text that i'm going to send so it is going to send this sms to the customer when they reply and you can also add the intent type let's add this let's say i have created 10 percent discount coupon for you do you want me to send it now so this is the sms let's save the action and here after this i'm going to add another if else and for the condition this will be let's say send coupon branch will be yes and no so contact reply and content intent type is positive if the intent type of the reply is positive then it is going to send this coupon and i can create another branch such as let's say no and i'm going to do the same thing reply intent type is negative then it is going to follow this workflow so it has created three branches yes no and none for the yes i'm going to send the coupon code so this is the coupon code that i'm going to send for 10 percent discount and if they select no and if the intent type is negative then we will send another sms and let's save so this is going to send this sms if you want to end the workflow you can end the workflow let's say remove from workflow so this contact will be removed from this workflow if it is going to this branch from the current workflow you can see there are many different actions that you can perform in a particular workflow once your workflow is ready do not forget to publish it you can select publish and save it then let's go to workflows and you will see the newly created workflow here so as soon as someone fills up the form it is going to add that contact lead to this particular workflow and it will send the sms email to the contact user as well as the business owner now if you need any kind of help to create workflows you can contact me anytime i'll give you the link in the description box those who are new to the go high level services you can try go high level for 14 days there is a free trial of 14 days if you sign up to the go high level using my link in the description box i'll help you to create website landing pages funnels workflows automation for free so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.